I'm gonna first talk about the flight getting here. It two hours from Phoenix to Dallas, Texas. That flight was pretty easy. Um, the exchange of flights or the transfer of flights from Phoenix to Dallas, we had an hour to change flights. Well, we got off of our flight, went to the restroom, and by the time we went to board our plane, they were already calling our name. So it was a tight, uh, it was a tight squeeze to get from one plane to the next, but we made it. The plane from Dallas to Buenos Aires was amazing. Uh, you did hardly any turbulence. It was smoothly. The girls slept about five hours on the plane. We had dinner and breakfast that was served. They give you a small pillow and a blanket. Um, that's, I guess, they just give to everyone when you're on a long flight. And it was pretty easy. We flew through the night and I had no complaints on the So the Airbnb was a smooth, um, it went very smoothly to check in. The manager of the Airbnb or the owner uh, met us at our Airbnb as soon as we checked in, gave us a lot of information, answered a lot of our questions. Um, it went very smoothly. Can you talk about what's behind you? So right now I'm recording at the Oblisque in Buenos Aires. Um, it's very crowded, a lot of tourists around here. But I wanted to make a video here to show you a little bit of uh, Buenos Aires. So we were told before we got here by several people that have been here who've traveled here that uh, Buenos Aires is doing a blue rate exchange for our US dollars. We exchanged $100 bills. I exchanged $300 and got uh, $600 worth of money um, for the blue rate exchange at Western Union. Um, you literally just walk in, give them your money, and they exchange it according to how good the bill is. They give you their rate, and we got for our $1, 100 pesos, we got 200 pesos per, per dollar. Talk to me about the Spanish. So, we've been able to get, um, understand, I would say about 75% of the Spanish here. There's a lot of different words, for example, a soda. We would say soda in Espanol um, back home in Mexico. Here it's called gaseosa, and then they'll ask you what flavor you want. Um, what else is different? Um, sure. Like for chicken, we would say pollo, and here they say pollo. Um, just different dialects, but we're getting, we're understanding most of it. It just, some of it's a little hard to understand, especially when you're trying to order um, at a restaurant. I can't understand the menu. Like they say budin for, um, a bread loaf, a bread slice. So I've been asked a lot, how are the kids doing? They are actually doing amazing. They have not complained or cried once. They whined a little about missing home, missing some friends and family, but they're doing great. I had a little bit of um, just missing my family, a little bit of that gut feeling where you're like, ah, was this the right decision? And it's, we've only been here for two days. and. So far, today I feel great, like yes, we did the great decision yesterday, I was like, I wanna go back home. Anthony, um, he's been all right with, I guess, the move so far. <laughs>